Hi there, I'm from Optron and I'm going to show you a little bit about using feature codes with the Trimble R780 and using Trimble Access with the new TSC5. So what I've set up here, I've got a feature code library that I've already pre-loaded and I will link it in the description below. And I'm going to do a quick survey for you in this little area over here. We've got some nice features that I'm going to capture and just show you the simplicity of doing CAD in the field. All right, this is a tilt rover. It's a, it has an incredible tilt on it and uh, it's able to work in some really challenging environments, such as one I am where I am today. All right, so we're gonna start off here. I'm gonna measure the edge of the bush. I'm gonna measure some of the curb lines. We're gonna go across to measure the building, that guardrail over there, some lampposts, and we'll continue in that direction. All right, so I'm starting off with with the uh, bush and uh, I'm gonna edge me measure that edge of the bush there it's there and I'm gonna jump over into I'm calling this one top curb one top curb two I mean bottom curb one and I'm gonna call the edge of these bricks edge of road one all right we're gonna keep going I'm gonna do an edge of the bush over here We've got a light post. And we're just going to go around like that. Now, with the tilt receiver, you can keep moving because the and it will store the point because as I'm hitting bush, the point is not moving. So you can keep walking. All right, we're going to come across here to guardrail. I've already preloaded these codes. Um, I'll show you a little bit later on how we do that. Now, having a tilt rover allows you to work a little bit faster because you don't need to worry about having the bubble uh, set correctly. You can simply hold the, hold the pole in the desired position and measure. All right, so now I'm gonna measure this bush. Now, in order to get the coat to not join the lines to that bush that we had over there, I simply, I go and onto my bush code over here and I add a little one, a little suffix to the end of the code. So now the code will all be bush one and the CAD line will not link up to the one on the other side. So once again, we can just measure while we walk. Here's this light post. Coming through here, we'll do a, a top curve over here. Top curb one, bottom curb one, edge of road one. So that'll join me through there. I'm going to finish up here on my bush, uh, bush one. Now this little, this little building over here, I'm going to do a three point uh, rectangle. So I'm going to measure the front two corners and the corner at the back and uh, it's not really accessible, but the software will draw, in, draw the corner in. So, all right, so that will be uh, corner building one. Do the next corner. And it's a little bit tricky, but we're going to get it from this side. you can really start seeing the benefits of a tilt rover let's go around we're going to go around to that side but before i go there just to get the curve of the curve so we're on a top curb one bottom curb one edge of road one 
All right, we'll do another building over here. Oh, we've got a manhole. So now the, the menu will ask me what type of manhole. I've added some attributes onto the codes. So it's a, it's a concrete manhole. I could add that it's leaking. I would measure the invert, but not today. So let's say it's a 1.25 invert and store that. And now we're gonna do the building corners. So building corner one. Alternation store. Building corner two. building Alternation store. Alternation store. all right so while, while i'm here might as well pick up the fence and we can do a bit of a bank um, so i don't have my banks loaded on on here i'm going to make a different screen i'm going to add another code list we're going to say uh, new new group and I'm gonna call it Topo 2. And you can choose by what, what layout you would like to have on there. I like to go with a five by four layout and accept that. So now I've got a blank list of codes over here. I can go and now and choose, okay, we've got a top bank over there, enter, and we're gonna go across one and we're gonna do a bottom bank over here. saves you a lot of time especially with curbs because the points are not landing on on the wrong side if the pole is not uh, held up straight for example previously you would need to hold the bubble straight but if for example you held a little bit skew the top curb point is going to end up on the wrong side of bottom curb so the tilt rover really saves you a lot of time in that space. Once again, we've finished with top curb one, so I'm going to add this to make a top curb three. And uh, if you don't know which top curb you've done, you've done a whole lot of curbs, there is a little button here that says find STR, and that will just find the last one, uh, the last number that you had used. So I can just hit that and I'll go on to three. Uh, I can do the same there, and I can do the same there. Okay, top curb three. Observation store. Let's go bottom curb three. Observation store. Let's say edge of road three. Observation store. Bottom curb three. Observation store. Top curb three. Guardrail one. Observation store. Uh, here will be a um, so here I'm going to choose a guardrail and I'm going to choose uh, pav one. I don't have it on this case, this page. So I'm just going to type it in, and basically what that's going to do, it's going to join the line for me of this guardrail. The same code is going to be used then for the edge of the pavement that we've already surveyed. Now the same on this side, we're gonna just call this one PAV2. 
I'm just gonna change that, still guardrail one. I'm just gonna pull it through and uh, measure that. All right, so now I can go back to my, um, uh, what are we on, top curb three. Stored. Bottom curb three. Stored. Edge of road three. Uh, edge of road three. Top curb three. Oops, I missed bottom curb. Bottom curb three. Guardrail one. All right, so to measure a gate, gate is a two points and it's going to draw the little pattern in between. So I've got gate loaded up on here. Um, so it's a two point pattern, so I can, I can measure gate. Measure the other side. Gate. And then as, it's, as it saves, it draws the gate pattern in for me, as you can see over there. All right, so we're just going to do a couple of. Uh, I'm just going to do a couple of spot shots going through here, just to pick up the the ground lines, and I call this the walking stick method. So what I'm going to do is is I'm going to put it onto uh, stop and go or topo continuous. So we're going to go measure the uh, continuous topo, and I'm going to choose stop and go. Um, my stop time is going to be set at uh, one second. So as soon as I've stopped for one second, it's going to store that point. Uh, the code that I'm going to give is, I'm just going to call it SS, spot shot. And, um, yeah, and then we're going to go. So let's just start in the middle here somewhere. And I'm going to say start. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to put the pole down, it stops for one second, it's stored. The point stopped for one second. Tilt Rover, as I said, it's it's quite phenomenal. Um, I'm just going to show you a little bit of a uh, like a technique. We're just going to measure this point over here, and I'm going to call it uh, benchmark one. And uh, it's at the cross on the ground over there. And uh, we're going to use uh, topo points for this. So I'm going to hold. I'm going to measure this using the bubble. And the, and the whole idea is to demonstrate the ability of the, uh, of the tilt. All right, so benchmark, benchmark one is stored. I'm now gonna go into the stakeout menu. Points, I'm gonna add it to the list. Uh, what did I call this one? Benchmark one at, at stakeout. So, the residuals are quite incredible. Doesn't matter how I, how much I hold the pole over tilt, you can really see the residuals are within millimeters. I can go in any direction, and I can even lay the pole on the ground. So we're literally getting eight millimeters, five mil. And then the cut of, I mean, it's jumping around between from 20 down to five. But that is an incredible ability of the pole tilt rover. Yeah, so thanks very much for joining the video today. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And please uh, like and subscribe.